to solve an equation means to solve for x. And here, since x is inside of a trick function, sine in this case, we'll have to divide by 2 first to isolate our sine. Now, in order to get the 3x out of sine, in order to get rid of the x, or get rid of the sine, excuse me, uh, we'll have to first find out where sine is equal to negative 1 half on the unit circle. Since sine is our y value, we're going to find values here and here on negative 1 half. That is 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. That means we have 3x as equal to 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. In order to generalize these solutions, we will write plus 2 pi k on both. Now, we haven't solved for x yet, we've solved for 3x. In order to solve for x, we simply divide by 3. Notice that the denominator of the fraction gets multiplied by 3, so it becomes 18, and our 2 pi k becomes 2 pi over 3 k. Same thing goes for this equation. This solves the first part of the, of the question, determining all solutions. The specific solutions on 0 to 2 pi will include a few extra values. It will include not only 7 pi over 18 and 11 pi over 18, but some extra values for different values of k. So when k equals 0, that is just these two numbers. When k is equal to 1, you can write this as x equaling 7 pi over 18 plus 2 pi over 3 times 1, which is just 2 pi over 3. Similarly, we have 11 pi over 18 plus 2 pi over 3. We can see here that if I uh, add these together, I need to multiply by 6, multiply by 6, this becomes 12. 12 plus 7 is 19. This is 19 pi over 18. And the second one, similarly, we have plus 12 is going to be 23 pi over 18. Next, let's try k equals 2. We have the values x equals, let's do 7 pi over 18, plus, and 2 times 4 is going, 2 times 2, excuse me, is going to be 4. So we have 4 pi over 3 instead this time. And the second value will be 11 pi over 18, plus, 4 pi over 3. Now a lot of these calculations can be done by your calculator if you have that with you. Um, if you don't, you can do it by hand just like we're doing now. 7 pi over 18 plus 4 pi over 3. We have to get common denominators again, times 6. So times 6 and times 6. This is 24 plus 7 should be 31 pi over 18. And similarly, we have times 6 is 24 plus 11 is 35 pi over 18. Now I can tell we're really close to 2 pi here. Note that 2 pi is the same thing as 36 pi over 18. We're currently at 35 pi over 18. Uh, and our stopping point is 2 pi. Once we have a value that's greater than 2 pi, then we no longer grab more values for our solution um, because that's not in the range of the answers, 0 to 2 pi. Um, just to make sure though, why don't we try k equals 3. So 
similar stuff. We have 7 pi over 18. This time it's going to be plus 6 pi over 3. And 11 pi over 18 plus 6 pi over 3. And when I, when I get common denominators, times 6 times 6, we're adding th uh, 36 to 7, so that'd be 43. And here we have 36 plus 11 is uh, 47. Both of which are too large. So we have all of our solutions given as uh, the values before this. So we have 7 pi over 18, 11 pi over 18, then the solutions given by our k values are 19 pi over 18, 23 pi over 18, 31 pi over 18 and 35 pi over 18.